Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Rue correctly on 4x4. Requirements for this video is that you already know how to solve a 4x4 using beginner's method or maybe even a CFOP method even though you use Rue on 3x3. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so what you don't want to be doing is reducing it like this into a 3x3 and then solving like first block like with Rue. Don't do that, that's bad, very bad, don't do it. So you can use Rue on big cubes, but getting a big cube with magnets is very important because it will help you because Rue uses M moves a lot and with a 4x4 without magnets, M moves suck and are awful. So to be good at Rue on 4x4 or 5x5 or whatever, get one of those cubes with magnets, that's crucial. All right, so the first real way to do Rue on 4x4, this method is called the Mayer method. So in Mayer, what you do, if you're X to Y color neutral on 3x3, that means you can start with orange, red, blue, or green first block. Then we're gonna solve two of those centers first. So we're gonna solve opposite centers. So I usually solve red and orange just for consistency sake on 4x4. I get all the reds on one set, all the red centers on one side, and then get the orange centers on another side. So we have opposite centers on opposite sides. Next step is you build first block. So all of these pieces. So I recommend starting with the first block edge. So in this case, it's red, white, and the other red, white. So we can pair these up in two moves. Can you see it? It's like this. That pairs those up. Bring those down there. You know how normally you'd make like pairs of two pieces? to put in on 3x3, three three. well, you're just making pairs of three pieces. So ignore this corner. So this actually goes there. So we just go like that to build that pair and then put that in like normal rule back there. So now we need to connect these three pieces in order to finish the square there. And you can actually just think of it like normal rule. So I can pair these up like that and then I need to make it a pair of three, and I can hide these two away, bring this over, and unhide them, and that makes a pair. So, there's a lot more tricks you can do rather than just regular Rue with M moves, so you have to watch out for that. But once you have made your first block, we're going to solve the rest of the centers. I recommend pairing up the bottom center first and moving it um, vertically, then bringing it down. And then from there, you can easily connect up the other centers and also put them downwards. And then I'm going to pair these two pieces up. So I'm actually going to rotate this center in the back because I want the bars being vertical. So I'm going to do like a wide R prime and then just realign these to be vertical and then bring it back. And then you probably know how to do this. So that solves all the centers. Now all we need to do is solve one more edge. And the way we do this, you just find two pieces. Maybe you even have an edge pre-made. I don't. So I see this white green and this white green. We can bring this over to there. And then with one move, we can pair them up and then insert it into this. And then undo. And that solves a piece. Then we put that piece here on top of our first block. And we're going to rotate so that our first block is on the back of the bottom like this. And now you can do your regular edge pairing. So whatever edge pairing method you use, go ahead and use it here to pair like all your edges and stuff. And um, yeah. And once you've paired up all the edges, go ahead and rotate back so that your first block is on the left and start building your next block like in standard Rue. Once you've built second block, do not do CMLL. No CMLL. Instead, we're going to count the number of bad edges. So, on 3x3, three three, we always have an even number of bad edges. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 2. So, I mean 0, but 2, 4, and 6. So, that's always an even number of bad edges. So if you have an odd number of bad edges, so one, two, three, so we have three bad edges, that's not good. We always need an even number. Then you have to do parity. 
So parity is this really horrible, really long algorithm. But once you're done with that, you have an even number, and you can just do your CMLL like normal. And try to do your LSE as best you can, like normal. But you may also run into LSE parity, I guess. So there's another algorithm for that, and it looks like this. So that's the Mayer method on 4x4. Okay, so let's talk about a slightly different approach to doing Roo on 4x4. This approach is called the Lewis method, invented by uh, Lewis, probably. So, we do the same thing as the other one. Two opposite centers. And then instead of building one block, we actually start building both right away. So, just build both blocks. So after building your first block, build the second block. And now what we're going to do is we're going to solve the bottom center and the back center. So for me, that's the green center and the white center. So I'll build one center and the green center goes there. Here's this nice, lovely bar pre-made for me. So I'm gonna bring that to the top and we're gonna insert that into the back. Then I just have these two pieces left. And that's my bottom center and back center. Then we just build one more edge so usually if there's something down here, you can pair it up in three moves, kind of like this. But here's one of those cases I was talking about. So if you look at the yellow and red pieces, you bring them to the, sort of this position without destroying your um, bottom and back centers. And you can just pair them up in three moves. Then with that last made piece, you insert that in the bottom and back spot. So like that. And from there, now we have to finish the centers. So I'm gonna rotate this center, solve the, the centers. I don't know, yeah. Next step, solve all of the edges. So again, we're gonna have to start using commutators here, but don't worry. Um, basically, we solve this, put this broken one in its spot without wrecking the center's like orientation. So this one's now bad. Undo and then undo. So you can always keep doing that until you're left with two edges. If you're left with two, you're gonna have to do the normal setup into this position and then pair them up using like that weird flipping algorithm and then undo it to solve those two edges. Once you're done with that, you can do the same thing. Recognize if you have parity. I don't because I have an even number of bad edges. And then form CMLL, LSE, and hope that there's no LSE parity, which I didn't get LSE parity. So that was two different ways of how to do Roo on a 4x4, which I personally use um, Mayer method as my main, and I, my PB single is one minute and two seconds. So that's, that's pretty good for me. Yeah, if you have any suggestions or tips for more videos that you want me to make, then make sure to leave them in the comments. And don't forget to press like, because I spent uh, some effort on this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.